Hey lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Saying I Tarot, here with the Intuitive Weekly. Um, the water signs ran over a lot, okay, so I'm going to upload that by itself. It's an hour video almost, and um, it had a lot of informative information in it, okay? So as far as the timestamps go, you can start over there on that page, um, write down the timestamp down in the comment section, okay? And... With these next three videos, I'm going to try to get them all on this video, okay? So the uh, fire, earth, and air, I'm going to try to get all those on there. I still expect you to timestamp when I start each element, okay? If you want to win it for 30 minutes, this is the video to do it on. Um, you simply need to timestamp down below when you, when you see me shuffle the cards, okay? And the time on the board when I start each element, okay? All right, so this is going to be for fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, March 25th through the 1st of April. Let's see what's going down. Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, March 25th through the 1st. Show me what's going down with my fire signs. Okay, Linda. Uh, okay, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Just cards fell out. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, the cards fell out. All right, come on. Show me. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, March 25th through April 3rd. Show me what's happening. All righty. One, three, two. All right, so here we go, y'all. You ready? Fire signs. First card out, the moon. The moon is there. The tower. Okay. Eight of swords. That's a unique reading. I like I mean picture around the head, okay. It gives me a different feel than I usually would feel with the eight of swords. Okay. Five of cups. Okay. Nine of wands. Alrighty. Under the moon, we have the Hierophant. Okay, Linda, what is going on there? Under the tower is the Two of Cups. Oh, wow. Under the Eight of Swords is the Ten of Pentacles. Under the Five of Cups, we have the Magician. Oh, this is really a... Under the Nine of Wands is the Knight of Pentacles. All right, this is a pretty decent reading. Overall energy for my fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Judgment. There's a lot of major arcana here, okay? And you guys know, when it comes down to major arcana, let me read the other one. There's the King of Pentacles up under that, okay? When there is um, a lot of uh, major arcanas, Okay, or pre pretty decent amount. We got one, two, three, four. Right, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana. Okay? Um, so, the major arcana is situations, lessons that are out of your control. You can't control it. It will happen to you. There's nothing that you can do about it. Okay? Um, and the way that those is going to play out is different for everybody, okay? So I'm just going to read what I see that's here. First and foremost, we have the moon showing up with the Hierophant. Now, this can represent a legal situation. It could also represent um, a domesticated uh, situation, like uh, when you're in a relationship with someone. Um the moon is there and you kind of see like uh, a marriage with this person or you kind of see like, am I going to spend the rest of my life with this individual? All right. Now with the moon being there, it kind of signifies that you may be thinking 
crazy, all right? Like you're not seeing the picture for what it is. I am going to beat down on this. Oh, excuse me. Clarify that moon for me. Let me see that moon. Knight of Wands. Tell me more. Okay, so this could definitely rep... Oh, Ace of Swords. This could definitely represent if you're dating someone, okay? You're thinking as if this is going to be forever or this is going to be a marriage situation. Now, we have the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Swords popping up on the moon and we have the Hierophant. So, with the Hierophant being there, I know for sure it's going to be a situation to where they are going to teach you. Now... With the Knight of Wands, this is very fleeting energy. So this is like your one night stand type of people. Um, people that come into your life, but it ain't going to be no future with this individual. Okay? And with the moon there, it kind of signifies that you're looking at a sexual moment as if it's going to last forever. All right? And that's not what it's intended for. It's intended to leave behind uh, very important lessons. Clarify that um, hierophant for me. Ooh, King of Wands. Here we go. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the star. Okay. And three of cups. Okay, so. Now, remember what I said. The moon is there. This energy is quite delusional. Okay. This is kind of like seeing the glasses half full. All right. Or being hopeful about a situation and the way that you see it in your head, it doesn't play out that way. Okay. Um, so. The, the moon with the hyperfin is telling you to be open, fire signs, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, be open, especially Leo and Sagittarius because the king of wands popped up on the board right up under the hyperfin, okay? And then we have the star and we have the three of cups. This is being very hopeful. You're hoping for a reunion with someone, okay? Somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. This is also um, twin flame energy that may be coming through. Um, it could be that spirit is trying to urge you to get out there and to make yourself available. Maybe you are spending too much time in your head, um, too much time dreaming, okay? Uh, it looks like there's a situation that may have even popped up. I'm going to even go as far as to say, Leo, Sagittarius, you may have recently had a dream about your partner cheating on you, okay? Or your partner trying to get with someone else, all right? Now, what is that? Um, it looks like spirit is activating that in order to get you to engage back in a fight. Maybe you gave up. You haven't been around this individual, whoever this person is. You haven't been around them in a while. You haven't seen them. Okay. So spirit threw you a bone and scared, the sh you know, scared the hell out of you. So now you're going to go looking for this individual where you at, what's going on? You know, did you move on? Um, I thought we were working towards us being together, that sort of energy. Okay. So we do have the star and the three of cups. There is a reunion that is going to come up. Uh, clarify that Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. See that? Yeah, this is a fear. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so that is definitely a fear. There's some sort of fear. Another thing Spirit is telling me is that you have this uh, very nervous feeling that you're going to lose this individual. Or, or this person is just going to come around and want sex for you and then they're out the door. Okay? Um, and a hierophant is there to enforce the situation to pretty much say, we got it. It's, you know, this is yours. You're going to have it eventually one day. But you need to throw away those feelings of um, lack or those feelings of uh, a fear of something that has not happened yet. Okay, stop trying to think this situation through. You're not going to be able to think this situation through. This is a divine partnership. Um, Spirit is doing a lot of things in there in order to bring the two of you together. How do you know, Bella? Well, we got the Tower and the Two of Cups. When the Tower pops up with the Two of Cups, this represents a couple who avoids each other, okay? You avoid one another and you go on about your business, but Spirit is saying that the two of you need to be together. So a Tower moment is a synchronicity, okay? A synchronized event that happens to put the both of you in the same um, vicinity together, okay? And you really don't want spirit to do it. If you can get yourself together, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, get up, get your shit together, and go after that man you want or that woman you want, then you won't have to worry about this tower situation, okay? They're creating that tower situation because basically they're saying you're in your head too much, you're maybe uh, hibernating like a motherfucker in the house, okay? Um, you're just not available for this individual. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Look at that. The Eight of Swords. And I told you guys, 
when I looked at this Eight of Swords, it didn't give me the same vibe as the Rider Waite when the sword's around the woman. Instead, the swords are around her head. So this talks about thoughts. Very, very real thoughts in your mind that you think is going to happen. You think it's going to fall apart between the two of you, okay? Little do you know, Linda. Listen, Linda. Ten of Pentacles. This is a person that you're going to end up with for the rest of your life, okay? You don't even realize it. You're stumbling into this type of situation, uh, Leo Sagittarius, okay? So all of you who are at this moment, you might be home, got your nappy-ass head going on, got a fucking bonnet on, your house is trifling, all that bullshit. You're not even thinking on a relationship essence, okay? Uh, maybe because... It's very unorthodox the way the situation may have occurred between you and this individual, okay? And now, there could have even been... Hold on. Okay, slow down, spirit. Sorry, y'all. They're talking. Hold on one, hold on one second. Okay, I'm sorry about that, y'all. They were talking in my ears, and I, I'm trying to get a message. It's so hard to do that. Okay, so basically... All right, so you guys need to listen to me because this is very, very important this week, okay? I want to talk to those of you that are Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Leo and Sagittarius more than anything. If you find yourself involved with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is the person that you want to be with. This is not, when I say involved, it's not going to be like um, an actual relationship yet, okay? So that can mean something totally different. If you are a Leo, Sagittarius, and you're involved with a Cancer Pisces, and that's your relationship right now, then you're probably going to have that same energy that's going down in the water sign. So I would encourage you to listen to the water sign reading. But if you have a situation to where you are in love with someone, you're crazy about this person, you have a crush, real long time of a crush, but you've never been with this individual, I want to talk to you, okay? Now, this week, I need you to get up out your house, get up off your ass, get your shit together, and you need to be available to wherever that person is. You know, it could be something as simple as... um he or she rides past a certain store every day at that exact time. You need to be there, is what I'm telling you, okay? Um, there's an opportunity that's coming to you, and it's fleeting, meaning that if you don't grab this opportunity, you probably will never have it ever again in life. Make yourself available, okay? Now, um, let me look at this tower real quick. Clarify that tower for me really fast. There seems like there is some sort of fear. Seven of Cups. Okay, so High Priestess. Yeah, see, they're creating something. It seems like um there is some sort of fear when it comes down to this individual. So let me just keep it 100 with you because you guys know how I am. I always keep it 100. Okay, so... um. Basically, those of you that are keeping yourself cut off, all right. Um, it it kind of looks to me that there is a Leo or Sagittarius who may be in love with one individual. Okay. Um, the moon card in a Hierophant being there, that situation is going to look quite delusional. For instance, me and my twin flame. I've been on my journey with my twin flame for the last 13 years. I've never been intimate with this person. However, this union took on a life of its own. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recently, I just had a dream about my twin, okay? And I had a dream that he was involved with someone else, okay? Like, you know, um, some other woman that lived out of town, all right? Now, I have not been making myself available to my twin as of two days before Valentine's Day. So we're already going into April, okay? And I have not been pressed to go where I know my twin flame frequents. I haven't been pressed, okay? However, when I say to you, you don't want the universe to have to, you know, shake shit up in order to get you together. You, this shit can be so weird. Like it could be a situation to where finally you get up off your ass and then you want to go to where your twin is and then your fucking wheel fall off your tire. <laughs> so you got to stop and you got to call for help. And he is a mechanic. Okay. The tower with that two of cups says 
This union is so important that we will do anything it takes in order to bring the two of you together. So I know there's a fear there, fire signs. You're afraid because you don't want things to fall apart. Okay, I'm afraid. I've been at this for 13 years. What if it doesn't turn out right after I consummate? You know, we never consummated before. So what if we consummate and then it all comes down to being just a flame? That is the scariest shit in the world, especially for me, okay, as you guys' as teacher, because remember, I go through it before you do, okay, in order to be prepared enough to talk to you about it. So I have been dealing with some fears of what if it's not what I thought it was, okay? With the moon card being there in the Haberfin, it is not going to be what you thought it is. I'm just letting you know off top, okay? Um, but then I have fears like, okay, if we consummate, what if he starts cheating? You know, what is this situation just supposed to be I'm crushing on him, he's crushing on me, and we never come together? Or is this meant for us to actually come together and fall in love with one another? You know, I'm dealing with those issues in my head. So that's what why that Eight of Swords is there. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles. This speaks of legacy, all right? So this is a very important relationship, a very port, important union, all right, that they're forcing, they're trying to put together. Now, a lot of you probably were supposed to be together last year around this time, okay? And you did not um, make yourself available or something may have happened to where you just couldn't play at the game. Well, this year, Spirit, Spirit is urging you to hurry up and make a move. Why? Well, because we have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. What does that mean? We have a vertex coming up again in the month of July. So it's kind of telling you, you better get out there and you better get it yourself right now. Because if you don't get it yourself right now, all bets are off. Any means necessary. Okay? So they're going to throw a lot of shit at you. If you don't pass this test, be available, maybe go approach your twin, whatever you got to do. They are going to shake the shit to the core. Okay. It's like some of you may be feeling right now. Okay. Maybe you're the water sign. You get the five of cups there and the magician. Maybe you are feeling too much time has went past. I haven't talked to this person. So this person, you know, doesn't have this special person doesn't know nothing about me or, you know, whatever you got going on. It, it kind of looks to me like there is a great fear about coming together with this individual and spirit is urging for it to come together. Spirit is saying, listen here, you didn't already did your time. Nine of Wands and a Knight of Pentacles. You've already went through a process. Now it's time to make your situation a reality. Now, another thing I want to speak to you guys and I want you to hear me very clearly. Manifestation. If you are a Leo or Sagittarius, okay, even Aries, right now, being able to manifest your reality is more possible than it's ever been, okay? Uh, so what do you mean, Bella? What I'm telling you is, think of that situation that you want to happen between you and your divine counterpart. For some of you, this is going to be a twin flame. For others, it's going to be a karmic soulmate, okay? Maybe even a soulmate. What I'm telling you is right now, at this moment, you have an opportunity to think up what it is that you want to see, all right? This Eight of Swords, remember, um, it represents her head, a lot of shit that's going on. Well, let me tell you this, and I want you to hear me. I'm, I'm being real with y'all, okay? I'm sharing my secrets. For the last five months, last year around this time, I was manifesting what I wanted to see happen between me and my twin in Texas. Around July 14th, okay, when we had that big collision where it was meant for everybody to go towards their twin. A lot of people didn't go, okay? So a lot of people didn't get in union. I have been having new levels bring new devils, okay? So, I'm a master manifester. A lot of shit that takes place is in my head, okay? Um, and you'll know that, especially those of you that have gotten readings from me. You've had situations to where you couldn't get your lover back, and I brought him back for you, okay? I did that off of my manifestation, my own head, okay? Now, what has recently happened is that the enemy stuck a veil over my face, when I try to meditate and see my twin, see the family that I want to, you know, create, 
I have a hard time staying focused on that one thing and I fall asleep every time, even if I'm not sleepy. Okay, so the enemy has been, when I say enemy, I'm talking negative energy. Okay, there's always a positive and a negative, the devil and God, God, you know, whatever you want to say it is. Um, so if my brain is cut off and I can't think about my twin, okay, I can't manifest, I can't see a vision, then what else could I use? Because this is a week where you got to figure out what else can I use if I can't use my head to manifest the situation, then what other thing could I use? See, with the five of cups there, we got the magician. So this is going to be all on you. I think nine times out of 10 this week for you fire signs, I think that you're going to try. You're going to try to see your future with your partner. You're going to try to manifest this relationship being together. And when it gets towards the end of the week, like coming up on the first, okay, um, you're going to be very frustrated because you could not uh, make out, you know, I tried, Bella, I tried every day. I used crystals. I, I did everything. But every time I would try to manifest, I would fall asleep. Manifestation is not only about the mind. It is also about the feeling. Okay. So if you cannot see with your third eye, the visual then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create the feeling, okay? Five of Cups, the Magician. Spirit is telling you how to win this game. So the Eight of Swords, if you look at this woman, she has swords all around her head, okay? She can't see clearly. You see how the bangs coming down on her eyes? She only got one eye, okay? She can't see clearly. All these things is all around her head, okay? Now... The Ten of Pentacles, they're saying she, what she can't see is how to manifest her future, how she wants things to turn out between her and her divine counterpart or twin flame, her life partner. She can't see it, okay? So, Spirit says, I know you can't see it right now, but what I want you to do is I want you to create the feeling. The Five of Cups is all about feeling, okay? Um, it, it definitely deals with a loss or looking at situations as if all hope is lost. Spirit is telling you stay away from that. Okay. Stay away from believing that all oh, is over. I'm never going to get this person. I can't even see it. So it's just done and over. Because if you get that feeling that is done and over with. This is what you're going to deal with. The Nine of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is like, okay. Well, since she doesn't know how to manifest or she's allowing her mind to take over, okay? And she can't see anything in her head because the enemy is bothering her head. So I give her a little hint and I tell her, create the feeling. What does it feel like to you? Okay, now... I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a master manifester, but I use my third eye to do everything. So for me, this is very difficult. I don't even know how to fuck I'm going to do it. I'm keeping real with you. All right. I don't know how I'm going to create a feeling for which something I cannot see. Okay. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to because I refuse. Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. I refuse to have to go back through that training, that tedious training. The training was so difficult. Okay. Ugh. I can't see myself going back through it. I think it would kill me. I'm keeping it real, okay? I think it would kill me to go back through that process. So, what am I going to do? Now, spirit is helping you. They're sending some of you dreams. You see how they send me to dream about my twin flame, finding somebody else, and moving on happily ever after, okay? So then the tower hit, and the tower is about, oh my God, you know, things are not the way I want it to be, and okay, well, this relationship is falling apart. Everything is shaking. I'm trying to hold on to my union, two of cups. Look at it. I'm trying to hold on to my union because around us, everything is shaking. Everything is coming off, okay? Now, another thing this card is telling you to be authentic, be authentic and be honest about what you feel for this other individual. 
When it comes down to twin flame, there's a lot of rejection that goes on in that union to the point to where you're going to second guess yourself. You're going to say, you know, are we meant to be together? Maybe this person is not interested because it's not looking like somebody else. It's not looking like how the orthodox situation goes, meaning boy meets girl, boy like girl, boy get girl's number, girl and boy, boy talk on the phone. They go out on a date. Boom. They like each other. Boom. They come together. You see, it's not going to work that way. Okay, this is more so like boy meets girl, girl meets boy, boy like girl, girl like boy. Girl and boy try to set a date. Invisible glass. They can't seem to hook up. Everything goes wrong in girl's life and everything goes wrong in boy's life. So now they got to focus on the events that's happening in their house. So they can't focus on bringing each other together. And spirit will do that. Put that invisible glass between you for years. I'm not talking about a minute thing, a week thing. For years, they will have that glass dropped. Okay? And you will try. Boom. Constantly. Boom. You're running up against the wall. Every time you're trying to put the thing together, it's, there's a wall, an invisible wall that you're running into consistently. All right, now, that has the potential. Hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. That has the potential to put all of this crazy ass shit in your head to believe in that it's not going to work out because I've tried everything and this person has rejected me. Well, what you don't know, judgment, judgment represents that this man is renewed and this man is changed and he knows he's supposed to be with you. The King of Pentacles being here is not just a, okay, well, you're dealing with an earth sign. No, this is the energy. So this is where this man is hoping to go. Let's be together. Let's start a family together. Let's build a house and move in together. Let's leave town together. You understand? So while you're sitting there and you're thinking that, okay, well, last time I talked to my twin, last time I talked to my soulmate, they was real rude to me and shit. So they don't like me. They really don't want to be with me. If you can't get past that initial uh, rejection, and, and listen, I'm not, listen, not, not no way, shape, or form am I talking shit because I, I'm having a problem too. I'm having a problem too, y'all. That's why this reading is late. I'm having a problem. There's an invisible fear that has been created in my heart. To where it's like, okay, well, maybe my twin doesn't like me. And I have been, always been a strong person to not look at what happened in the past. You know, because people change their mind. Yeah, in the past, he loved me and he was crazy about me and I loved him and I was crazy about him. But run, running up against that brick wall numerous times for 13 years tends to take the feeling out of your soul. Like, like you don't know what you're supposed to feel. You don't know how to put it together. You don't think it's going to come together because... And all this time, it didn't come together. Okay? These are challenges. Why does the universe... Why, not the universe, God. Why does God do this to us? Why does our angels write a story to where we are trying to come to one another, but we keep running up against the wall? And the more and more we run up against the wall, we're starting to notice we're changing. We're changing and we're becoming the person that this twin flame wants. And that twin flame is becoming a person that you want. Okay? So, what I'm trying to tell you is, this union is meant to be. And how fast it's going to go is up to you. Are you going to get this week in? Are you going to create that feeling of ultimate bliss, ultimate happiness, whatever you got to do, any means necessary. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm getting in my car. I'm going up to my overlook. I'm looking at the fucking world. I'm looking at the ocean. And I am going to imagine me and my twin holding each other every fucking word that I can imagine. I I'm trying to get this thing going. All right? If you keep staying in the house, oh, you listen to this video. Now you're going to go listen to 32 other bitches and shit. And they tell you the wrong shit and all that bullshit. Guess what? You miss your moment. Now you got to go right back through the dark, navigating through the dark, meaning that there's something in you that they have to finish. They have to complete. They have to throw out. Okay. You don't want that. You want them to put y'all together. So do what I'm telling you to do. Listen to me, y'all. Listen, listen, babies. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is the week to get a reading. If you have not had a reading with me, you need to book now. All CNI Tarot at gmail.com. Bella Dutch 247 at gmail.com. Okay. 
definitely hit my cash app, all right? Or if you do like Zelle or uh, uh, Chime, you know, hit me in my email and say, Belle, I want to send you something with your phone number, whatever, and I'll give it to you, okay? I want to talk to you for real, for real. I want, I want to talk to you. I want to exchange things with you to let you know how this thing can turn out or how we can get you into union a lot faster. Okay? This is the week to do it. If you can do it, take care of yourself. This is tax season. A lot of y'all got a bunch of kids and shit and y'all taxes look real good. Bella don't have that. So make sure y'all bless your girl. Okay? Eight years strong I've been going through this. Eight years I've been with you guys. Okay? So definitely hit my cash app. I shouldn't even have to ask. Y'all should already know. Do you want to work for free? Would you like to work for free every day of your life? No. So do others as you want them to do unto you. Come talk to me. If you can't come talk to me, here, chick. Here's $20. Thank you. Here's $5. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a different person. Be a better person. Because this union right here that God is putting you through, this shows maturity. This is deity ship. What is deity? Deity is like a God. These are people in very high rankings, okay? So if you're a twin flame, you're in a situation, you are a deity. This thing is not going to look anything like what you're used to seeing, okay? Not only do you need to change as far as the way you think, you need to change with the way you treat people because you ain't going to be able to break this shit up. And I can tell you this, I can bet your ass, spirit is not going to allow you to, to come together until you get this shit right. You will keep hitting that wall. And then you're going to need Bella. <laughs> Bella, please help me. Please take the wall down. Okay, what do I do to take the wall down? Come see me, y'all. Like, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. Personal reading, all seeing uh, tarot at gmail.com or belladutch247 at gmail.com. Definitely hit the cash app. Let me know that you guys love me and you're still rocking with me. And I want to talk to you this week. So if you can book, please book this week. Okay. Happy birthday, Aries. Your birthday month. If it's in a March, you still got a week going. Okay. Um, if your birthday's in April, great. You, you know, April's coming up. Book your reading because you need it. Because right now there is a lot of activity. And then we have another vertex coming in July. All right. I'll be back with the next element. Thank you guys. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. So next up, I have my wonderful Earth signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of March 25th through the 1st. If you missed any announcements, definitely go back to the very beginning of the um, message and listen to that, okay? Now, if you want to win free 30 minutes, this is the video to do it on. Um, it tells you how you can win in the beginning of the video. So I would definitely advise you guys to just pull up the beginning, okay? All right, so this is going to be for Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, March 25th through the 1st. Let's see what's going down. Spirit in the universe, what are the messages you have for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, March 25th through April 1st? Show me what's happening with my Earth element. Here we go, y'all. First card out. Eight of Cups. Mm. Five of Wands. I feel like this is back too far. Okay, that's better. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups. Okay. Okay. Under the Eight of Cups, we have the Emperor. Under the Five of Wands is the King of Cups. Under the Two of Pentacles is the World. Under the eight, seven of wands, sorry, seven of wands, we got the ace of swords. 
And under the Nine of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups. Overall energy for my Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the 25th through the 1st. Six of Wands. And I'll take the card right up under that. And we got Six of Cups. That's pretty good. Okay, despite the way the reading is moving, um, it, it kind of has like a really good outcome that comes from it. Okay. Um, I want to talk to those of you that are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and you are involved with a water sign. Okay, Scorpio, Pisces, okay. Um, we have the emperor on this person. It kind of signifies that maybe this week, you know, um, your emperor, so, so this is like your baby's father or your husband, something like that, okay. Um, he decides that he wants to walk away. Okay, so there's definitely some breakups that's happening this week. There's some harsh energy this week. You're not the only one that got it. Like every sign had got this harsh energy of endings. Okay, we have the five of wands with the king of cups. So this represents a uh, competition on a home front. All right. So this is like two women fighting for the same man, two men fighting for the same woman, etc. And then we have that two of pentacles with the world card. So I know that one of these relationships are going to definitely end. Maybe this person has uh, children by both of these women because it definitely looks like we got a new baby coming in over here. Towards the end of the week, you might find out that this person has a brand new baby coming in. Oh, wrong cards. Okay. Let me see what's going down real quick. Give me clarity on that two of pentacles. The Empress. I told you, look at that. And the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody's pregnant, okay? So, this is speaking of, maybe you already had a child with this individual. All right? Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. However, with that Two of Pentacles, it kind of symbolizes that he's been juggling between you and someone else that's pregnant by him at this, at this moment. Okay? Um, I feel like your child is already here, and it's already been a struggle. So, to add in, add to this situation it may put too much strain and it kind of looks like maybe the man is walking away okay um if he's not physically leaving then he's just walking away from uh the past relationship and how it had turned out you know like i'm not going to do this anymore i don't want to be accused no more i don't want to accuse you no more you know like this person comes has come to the realization that uh, trying to make it work is not even worth it anymore, okay? So he may decide to go off and let go. Well, it's not a may. He definitely, it looks like the woman or the person that he's involved with right now, which is you, Earth Sounds, okay? Um, he's going to let that situation die out because he is involved, this Empress and his Ten of Pentacles, this kind of represents that maybe he just recently found out that his new girlfriend okay i say new because it's a new baby she may not be new at all especially with the six of cups being here it could represent that this girl has been around for a while okay um however this is like a will of fortune moment where spirit brings her back uh, to to the relationship and then she gets pregnant this is all meant to be because it was meant for you to let go of this Scorpio Pisces individual. All right. Um, there's not much left to the relationship, especially with the Eight of Cups being there. Okay. Um, it looks like with the Five of Wands, you always constantly had to fight, you know, with another person. All right. Constantly having to prove your love to a person that it's not reciprocated. Okay. So this looked like um, unrecite, unrequited love is what it looks like. Okay. Because his mind, his heart is somewhere else. All right, and you're constantly trying to build with this individual and he's not there. So this week, I definitely feel that he will be going out and I'm just telling you the reason as to why he's going out. It looks like he got a brand new baby coming in with this Nine of Cups. Clarify that Nine of Cups for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did y'all see that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of shuffle it I be doing, y'all. What in the whole entire fuck? Look at this. Okay. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't use reversals. Hold on, give me one second, y'all. Because the cards just flip the craziest, like. Okay. Let's try this again. 
All right. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chariot. Okay. Tell me more. The world. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got a problem here. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> um, oh, maybe you're a Taurus, Virgo. Look at this shit. Yeah, maybe you're a Taurus or you're a Virgo, okay? And it's a possibility that you're pregnant right now, all right? Um, this is where it gets weird at because we have the chariot in the world. So... If this is talking about you, it's going to resonate. There's going to be some symptoms, okay? Just like medication. It causes symptoms or it treats symptoms. The symptoms that is going to resonate with this reading is um, your earth sign. So your Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? Uh, you live currently out of town, all right? With this chariot being here, all right? So you currently live out of town, all right? However, this guy, whoever he is... Okay, it looks like he might be a Pisces or a Scorpio. Okay, um, what you don't know is that he went and started a relationship, relations, sexual relations, uh, with someone else. Okay, and maybe this woman is giving him an ultimatum. Clarify this, uh, Ace of Swords. Maybe this other girl is giving an ultimatum. Yeah, four of wands. So they live together. This is going to be a situation. Ooh, Knight of Swords. This is going to be a situation where they live together. Okay? So they live together, and, and she's arguing with him, and she's telling him, you know, it's me or, or the other person. Clarify that Knight of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, this is... Ooh, Page of Swords. Okay. This is a clandestine affair. Ooh, King of Wands. This is a clandestine affair, okay? Um, this coffee's good. There's a secret affair that has went on, okay, in this relationship. And I honestly feel, looking at that two of pentacles, we got the empress and the ten of pentacles, I believe maybe both of you are pregnant. Both of you are pregnant at the moment, okay? Now... At first, I thought it was just one person pregnant, and then there's another child. Okay, I'm going to put it to you this way. If there's another kid in this relationship, the woman that he's going to choose is the woman that has... This is going to be her second baby. Okay? That's what it looks like. This is going to be her second baby. Okay, this looked like some sort of sneaky ass affair, and it kind of looked like um, there was a fight or argument, you know, um, everything came to the light, all right? Maybe they were all living together at one time, you know? It looked like one of those situations where you got, like, a dude and his boy, and they have a crib together, you know, like everybody moved into the crib together, all right? Um, however, the dude, your dude, was sleeping with this other woman secretively behind both of you guys' back. Looks like it may have been a, um, a confrontation that recently happened, all right? And maybe she lost him, all right? Whoever this other woman is. I think that y'all both might be earth signs. Y'all both may be Virgo, Taurus, okay, or Capricorn because of the way the cards are flowing. It's not trying to give me a zodiac sign, and that Two of Pentacles says that the two of you marry each other, so you're probably both earth signs, okay? And at the moment, you're both pregnant. All right? You're both pregnant. However, your baby looks like it's going to come first. Okay? The person I'm talking to here. So, it looks like your baby's going to come first. But right after that, there's another child that's born. Now, this other woman, she already has a child. Okay? Um, I don't know if it's about him. Let me see. Hold on. Let's go to the campus. Clarify the Six of Cups for me. Let me see that Six of Cups. This is crazy. Change. Tell me more. Marriage. Yeah, see. Um, the marriage is popping up on this woman. Hold up. No. Let me not say that. Break me down on marriage. Hold on. Let me check this. Judication. Tell me more. Poverty. Okay. 
you're not married to this woman. Maybe she had another relationship that was going on. And like I said, it looks like a... Pay attention to what I said to you about the story, okay? Because I promise you I'm accurate as fuck. It looks like all these people live together, okay? Your guy and his boy and another girl, okay? Now, your guy has secretly started sleeping with his girlfriend, all right? You and him probably broke up, and it looks like maybe you left town or something like that because this is out of town. We got the chariot and we got the world, okay? When you left, when you left out of town, here, let me help you. When you left, this is what the cards look like. And this is all on the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups, okay? Like a wish fulfillment. All right? So look at this Major Arcana. All of these are Major Arcana. The chariot represents that you left and you may have went out of town. The world represents that there was a very important lesson that you needed to learn from this individual okay so it probably feels like the ultimate betrayal to you all right um then we have the lovers here and then we have the uh, justice card here so i'm telling you the lovers with justice and in the two of cups <laughs> the lovers with justice looks like their relationship the relationship he had going with the other person maybe there needs to be a blood test when it comes down to the children because i pulled this on the nine of cups so it kind of signifies that maybe their relationship your guy and her um destroyed the relationship that she originally had with the other guy you understand what i'm saying okay um yeah mm-hmm and it looks like maybe they have been sleeping together for a minute. Yeah, because um, remember we had the marriage card. And then I beat down the marriage card. I get adjudication and poverty. So this is basically telling me, okay, we got changes coming up to a marriage. So this is a relationship. It doesn't have to be an actual legal marriage. It's her boyfriend. Remember, if her boyfriend lived there, okay, some changes recently happened. He doesn't live there anymore, okay? that relationship is broken up under the marriage card we got adjudication and poverty so nine times out of ten what happened in this situation is that this woman the other woman lost her boyfriend over your guy okay and it put her in a real bad situation to where now she has to provide for herself maybe the guy was a good guy for her all right he worked he probably helped pay the bills you know like Everything was cool. Well, now it looks like she is in a improvised situation and she's pregnant. <laughs> okay, so um, she got hardships that's coming. All right. Now, what do I feel about you? I feel honestly that you're going to make the decision to let go of this person because we have that chariot, the world, the lovers, and the justice. I think because you find out about it. Let's go into it. Let's try to, uh, yeah. Let's go into this. Clarify uh, the world. Let me see the world, please. Look, six of cups. All right, tell me more. The king of wands. Six of cups, king of wands. Break me down on that king of wands. Let's see that king of wands. Six of pentacles, tell me more. And the ten of wands. Okay, I mean ten of cups, sorry. This is on the King of Wands, and this is representing the world. Six of Cups and the King of Wands. Six of Pentacles. It popped again. I just realized that. Six of Cups. Oh, no, that's Six of Wands. Okay, so this is a very karmic situation, like very karmic. And it taught a harsh lesson, but on the world card... We get to see there's another person here. So, so I'm going to say this. Um, nine times out of ten, what I feel is that there could be a return. Okay. Um, take me into this ten of cups. Let me, let me see that a little bit. I just want to make sure. Ten of cups. What, what is on that king of wands? Three of wands. Tell me more. Okay. Maybe the oh okay four swords, break me down on a six of pentacles. Okay, you know what it is, uh, Earth sign. I think that um, if this is your story, if this is your situation, it's gonna hurt when it ends because you ooh, look. It's gonna hurt 
when you when you find out about it, okay? You're going to find out that he was being unfaithful, okay? And he was screwing somebody that lived in the house. And maybe you guys at one time all lived together and you guys were all cool. You know, everybody had their own boyfriends. But recently you may have moved out. And when you moved out, he started sleeping with her, okay? She has another kid by her man. But she ended up losing her man because he found out about the betrayal the same way you found out about the betrayal. Okay? So both of you decide that it's over with. It's over and done with. Now, what you cannot see... Okay? I'm going to say this and I'm closing out because I didn't realize it's going on. What you cannot see is that uh, moving forward, Earth sign, you have uh, Leo Sagittarius who looks like they're coming in. This is a karmic relationship, very karmic in nature. It's the Six of Pentacles. But I will tell you this. It is going to give back. It's bringing love and devotion back to you the thing you lost gambling on that pisces scorpio person okay so that pisces scorpio person is going to be out the picture because you're going to make the decision to let it go because the situation is just too touchy you know um the situation is just too touchy and filled with betrayal you can't trust them again even if you try you still wouldn't be able to trust them Okay, um, clarify this six of cups for me. Ooh, expectation. Okay, I wanted to know. Okay, so this is a woman who has two kids. Well, she will have two kids. She's expecting right now. She's pregnant. Here we go. Six. This is the family room. So this is secrets within the household. Okay, go deeper. Let's see that. Let's see that household. What What is going on there? What? Oh. Despair and thoughts. Clarify that despair. The message. Tell me more. The woman. Okay. I think the mature woman is you. And you end up getting a message. About what's going on with the situation. That he fucked up. Your baby's father fucked up. Really bad. Clarify the thoughts. Yep. Look at that. He fucked up. Toil and labor is on a thought. Okay, so he made a situation a hell of a lot more harder. And then we got marriage and change because he broke that relationship up for that other girl. So it's kind of like he created a new karma when he snuck and was having sex with that other woman. Okay, because that was the other guy, her baby's father. That was his soulmate. Okay, she was his soulmate. So your guy sleeping with her kind of created a karma, okay, for that other woman. That she's going to feel. And she ended up losing the, the, the good man that was taking care of the kids and everything like that. I think that um, this is going to be her second kid. All right. Second child, it looks like. The Six of Cups keep popping up. Okay. Um, with the Six of Wands being there, it's going to be uh, exposed. It's going to be exposed. The relationship between the two of them is coming out. You know, people are going to learn, that, learn about it. Um... Give me six of wands real quick. Let me see the six of wands. Let's see y'all. Eight of swords. Yeah. Yeah. See so you. This is entrapment. Ooh, three of cups. There it is. Yeah, this is entrapment. He kind of fucked his shit up. Okay, so we got the eight of swords, the three of cups, and the knight of cups. Clarify that knight of cups for me. Oh, come on. There, look at that. Ten of swords and the six of cups. This is going to hurt. Something's going on here. I think that the person that he's having an affair with is um, somebody from his childhood. Okay? Like, literally, his childhood. He can be claiming that this person is a sister, cousin, family member. And come to find out, they've been freaking having sex the whole time. It's a huge possibility that their first baby could be his because it looks like it's been going down for some time. And they keep putting that other child in the reading. Okay? That's what I have for you. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading, all seeing I tarot at gmail.com as well as Bella Dutch247 at gmail.com. Okay. Um, if you're feeling led to it, definitely donate to your girl. All right. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. All right. To keep these messages going, bills need paid. Donate. If you can donate, you can okay, Bella. I can't get in for a reading, but here you go. Thank you so much. You know, that goes a long way, all right?
because I'm not working right now. I'm actually working with you guys, okay? All right, babies. I will see y'all very soon. Remember, this is just a week. Um, it's probably was something that you didn't want to hear, but I had to tell you the truth so that you're not, you know, thinking that you're going to live happily ever after with someone, but then they got this crazy ass secret about the past, all right, about some, you know, some sexual uh, involvement he's been having with a childhood friend, um, some somebody he grew up with, you know, uh, someone that he hold dearly, that he was always crazy about, you know? Soulmate energy is what it is, okay? Um, but they're not karmic soulmates, and both of them have split up two karmic soulmates. So the two of them, your guy and this other woman, okay, the earth sign woman, Cap, uh, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, um, her and your guy are soulmates, okay? So I wouldn't get too startled because soulmates is really nothing. Soulmates is just we connect on the same level. We want some of the same things, but we don't hurt each other's feelings, all right? So there's no real change that takes place. Karmic soulmate is different. Karmic soulmate, you can't lead this person. <clears throat> You're not supposed to be able to lead this person until you can fulfill your karmic debt, okay? So there's going to be a lot of triggers in this relationship, a lot of on and off sort of thing, fighting. I've seen fighting, okay? Please don't fight. Please don't, you know, I know this This love, the feeling is stronger than anything you ever felt. I do understand that, okay? However, don't fight. Let it go. Just do, you don't have to fight, okay? All right, um, that's what I have for you. I'll be back with the last element. <clears throat> okay, welcome back, Bella. So next up, I have my wonderful air signs. This is going to be for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon for March 25th through the 1st, okay? Um, if you missed any announcements, like how to win a free 30-minute reading or how to book with me, please rewind to the very beginning and get those messages, okay? All right, so here we go. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, March 25th through the 1st? Show me what's going down with my air element. Okay, here we go, y'all. Okay, first card up. Nine of Wands. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. The World. The High Priestess. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Okay. Under the Nine of Wands, we have the Tower. Under the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Under the World, King of Wands. Oh, shit. <laughs> Under the High Priestess, Four of Cups. And under the Queen of Swords, the Sun. Okay. Overall energy for my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The week of the 25th through the 1st is the Hanged Man. Okay. Like I said, in almost every reading, I have seen endings. Okay. Very harsh energy. Um... A lot of relationships are coming to an end. Uh, first off, I want to talk to Libra, Gemini, okay? You may have had some sort of involvement with a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius. Um, also, it could be with an earth sign, all right? Now, the nine of wands is to break up and keep coming back together, okay? You broke up and you keep coming back together. You've have, you have had that type of relationship with this person so much that you expected that it was not fully over. 
that you literally um, would be with this person again. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you didn't think it was over. You thought that you were building. However, the tower is there. So this could represent that this time it was really over. Even though you're so used to breaking up and coming back together, it kind of looks like maybe you lost this woman or this man to another individual, okay? So we got the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Six of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords tells you to work on moving on, not trying to be with this individual because it kind of looks like maybe you're trying to, the World card, the King of Wands, I think that your ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend have started a relationship with a Leo or Sagittarius, okay? And it caught you off guard because you're used to being on and off with this individual. So for them to just completely stop trying to pursue you, um, we have the High Priestess here on the Four of Cups. So it kind of symbolizes that maybe you don't see this person. All right. I do feel like I'm talking to uh, Libra, Gemini men, okay, that may have been been involved with, uh, uh, I'm going to say, listen, Libra, Gemini men who may have been involved with an earth sign. This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay, as well as another air sign like yourself, okay. Now, it looks like that person that you're involved with have started a brand new relationship with a Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, that's where they're at right now. This is very hurtful to you because you want to sabotage it. Why do you want to sabotage it? Well, because you are used to being on again, off again with this individual. And for some strange reason, the rug was pulled from under your feet, meaning that you can't get back with this person because they're already occupied. They're already on to their necks. The Four of Cups is here, okay, with the High Priestess. Um, I kind of get the sense that maybe... Uh, at the moment, <laughs> at the moment, um, this woman may seem very neglectful. Like if you guys have kids together, maybe she left the children with you. Okay. With the four of cups. All right. Because she is building her. She is becoming more in tune with herself, trying to figure out what her purpose is being here in the world. And, and she honestly feels like that's not going to happen with you. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords with the Sun, and like I said, I think that this is you, uh, Libra Gemini. I think that you finally come to the realization that you can't do nothing about who this person is now seeing. You can't break them up, it's not working. Okay, maybe you were watching your children, trying to use the kids as a means to get this individual back, but it's not happening. Okay, the relationship between you and this person is done, stop fighting for it. Okay, let me see if I missed anything in here. Give me that uh, Eight of Pentacles. Let me look for this Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, tell me more. Five of Pentacles, break me down on that Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands, tell me more. Seven of Wands. Okay, so it kind of looks like maybe um, looking at the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. It kind of looks like, um, remember I told you, you're trying to break this individual up and you're trying to figure out like how to do that. Now, it looks like maybe this person, the girl that you're involved with, or the man, have went AWOL, okay? And they're spending time with this King of Wands individual, all right? Now... The reason why you can't seem to break it up is because the new lover that came in, he's not financially stable with that five of pentacles. So he needed your girlfriend or your boyfriend, all right? Because it, it kind of gives this move-in energy, like um, they just moved this person into their house, okay? With the four of wands and the seven of wands, okay? So now he's the man of the house, this king of wands. So it's a Leo Sagittarius. Now he's the king of the house, okay? And he's not going anywhere. All right. Um, he's not going anywhere without a fight. Definitely. All right. So this is why spirit tells you to go ahead and move on because she has moved on. Go into that six of swords. Page of wands. The ten of cups. See, I think you guys have kids together. But, ooh. Oh, look at that. 
I ain't gonna take it. I'm, I'm not gonna take it. I ain't gonna take it. Let's see. Let's come back out. Tell me more about that six of swords. Yep, there's a baby. That's a little boy. That's a little baby. And a king of a queen of wands. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like maybe there's some sort of communication. And I think that she might be using you to help her date him. And you might say, how the hell is that going down? Well, because it kind of looks like maybe she tries to tell you that she needs help with the kids or whatever. And you're with your children. Okay. While she's building this new relationship with this uh, Leo, eerie, Sagittarius person that's recently in her life. Okay, what she ultimately deserves it because it kind of looks like you guys have been on and off for so fucking long. Like it's it, you know, it's over. There's nothing else you could really do uh, to make this relationship work. So why even put any effort to it? Give me um truth on that uh, King of Wands. I'm just checking my work. King of Pentacles. Six of okay. Oh shit. Eight of Wands. Okay. So we got the King of Pentacles there. Six of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. Um, give me clarity on that. Six of Pentacles. Page. Of, oh, what the fuck is going on there? Justice. Hold up, Linda. Two of Cups. The Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Um, I would leave. I would let this person go. Because it kind of looks like this, this person is in your ex's life. We got the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. Um, maybe he, he or she does some sort of work um, where they're out of the house a lot. Okay, Or if they don't have a job, because I've, I've seen that Five of Pentacles there. So it kind of represents that maybe right now at this very moment they're down on their luck. Their money's not right. But just at this moment, okay? Like, that's going to change, literally. It's really going to change. Okay, uh, let me get to the Four of Cups real quick. Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah, uh, air sign. Look at that, Ace of Cups. I was going to say, don't fight with this person. Just let them go. You guys need a break. Look at that, Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. So it kind of looks like you're still trying to call this person to offer them. Look, Seven of Swords. It's like you're still trying to call this person to offer them yourself. The problem is they already know about you. Now, I want to go into this high priestess a little bit because I'm going to flip mode. I want to talk to um, your ex, okay? Because it kind of looks like. Uh, maybe they have a situation where they have an ex as well because we got the high priestess energy here We got the ace of cups page of wands and a seven of swords So it kind of looks like not only are you trying to steal your lover back, but also Them her the other person is trying to steal her man back Okay, so her man is dating your woman and both of you guys are sab trying to sabotage the relationship clarify the seven of swords Look at that queen of cups I want to go deeper into it. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this woman may be uh, a water sign, a Cancer Pisces. She has the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Hold on, let me make sure I got this right. Seven of Swords. Why is this Queen of Cups? Let, let me see what this Queen of Cups is. Wait a second, because I don't know if it's that high priestess. The hermit. Tell me more. Three of Wands. What? I don't know why this feels like some sort of competition that's geared towards a water sign, Cancer Pisces. Um, maybe because she is the other woman that you cannot see. I, like I said, I'm talking to the per I'm talking to your exes situation okay so your ex is with a man and that man has his ex-girlfriend that keeps trying to come after him and he's not telling your ex okay um i really do honestly feel like there will be a breakup to be honest i do i, I feel like your ex is not going to stay with this person for a long time yeah I feel like they're not going to stay with this person. Clarify that sun for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 
my father's son caught me. How priestess. Oh, look at that. Did y'all see the way it flew? Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. Yeah, and the Three of Cups. I don't feel... Okay, so to be honest with you, to be quite honest with you, um, your ex is dating a man who is not 100% done with his uh, other partner. Okay, um, I think that right now it looks like you won't get your ex back, but if you just be patient, remember, it's the Nine of Wands. So this is something that you normally would do. Now, let me tell you something. This little hiccup that they threw at you, okay, um, the other guy, all right, that's dating your woman, okay? Or the better way to say it is spirit is using this man as a catalyst, okay, to create change in you in this person's relationship because to be honest with you, you look like you're the life partner to this individual, Okay, so your ex, you're not wrong in going for this person, okay? But um, there has been a lot of pain. There has been a lot of deception there. So your ex has moved on and found somebody new, all right? Now, you're not used to dealing with that kind of energy, so you're trying to fight for that person. You may have children by this woman, and you don't want your children to stay with this guy or, or some weird shit like that. So you're probably calling there, and you're probably trying to use the kids. You're trying to do anything to break them up. What you don't know is that this guy, he's not nothing to really call home about because he's not financially stable. It looks like he could be using your ex as a place to lay his head because, you know, he don't have nowhere to go right now. All right. His money is fucked up. His money is funny. So if you just sit back a little bit, okay, Libra, Gemini, sit back. Okay. Just sit back. If you sit back, it's going to play itself out. And the way it's going to play itself out is she's going to end up your ex losing that guy. Okay, because he has an ex that he's not even talking about. All right, he has another woman that he's in love with, and she's not to be seen. That's why I have priestess keep popping up because she's set for an appointed date. Meaning, spirit used this guy in your life with your relationship. Hold on, my mouth is so dry, y'all. Oh my God, my tooth hurts so bad. Mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Spirit used this guy as a catalyst in order to create change from you. So when you do come back together, you're going to come back together without any mask on. All right. Um, they're probably going to put you back together and you're going to work. You're going to see that if I don't work for my family, it's a possibility I'm going to lose my woman to another man. So can't nobody take care of my family the way I can, all right? So I feel like when you guys come back together, because you will, because it looks like a life partner, um, you'll be a better and improved person, all right? You'll be more engaged in your family. So Spirit, use this situation in order to uh, fix you, all right? Now, that's what you don't know. So with this girlfriend, this, your ex-girlfriend, um, her guy, the new guy that she's dating, he has someone that he's in love with, but she's out of mind, out of sight. That's why that high priestess is there. Um, she's set for an appointed date to come in, and when she comes in, she's going to rip the two of them apart, okay? And it was all meant to be. And that's the crazy thing about it. Like, what the fuck? What are y'all doing up there? You know, speaking to your angels and your spirit guides. Um this is his union that he is going to, you know, uh, go after. All right. So it's going to free your ex up and then you and your ex will get back together. Okay. Just sit back and let it go. Stop trying to break it up. Stop trying to call. Stop trying to use your kids as a means to get this person back. Don't do that. You don't got to do none of that. All right. All you have to do is sit back and wait. Just sit back and wait because they're going to fall apart. They're not going to be together forever because he's a soulmate. It just looks like a catalytic relationship. Okay. All right. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing a tarot at gmail uh, dot com. Also, you can hit me up at Bella Dutch two four seven at gmail dot com. Um, make sure you are subscribed. Okay. Uh, make sure you hit your notification button. 
any event you want to win a free 30 minute reading rewind to the beginning so you can listen to the announcements all right if you are feeling bad definitely donate 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 i can't say it enough okay do unto others as you would have them do unto you if you don't want to work for free then kind of you know have sympathy for those of us that do work for free because these readings are free we don't get paid for it unless you donate to us okay be generous if you can, all right? And hit your girl up. Um, how to donate is over, I think it's on the right-hand side of the video, okay? And it simply tells you how. I appreciate you. I love you so much. I will be back with the monthly, so definitely look out for that. I'm going to do it on all c and Tarot this month, okay? The other um, videos last month, I put it on The Bella Dutch. If you have not checked out that channel... Definitely go on over to The Bella Dutch. It is T-H-3-3-B-E-L-L-A-D-U-T-C-H. -L -L go check out The Bella Dutch because whatever is not here, it's over there on the second channel. Okay? I thank you so much, and next time I'll see you.